If you know your water source is strong, it may be useful to know about these really good pressure regulators to add to your leaky pipe irrigation system. This one is a three quarter inch. It has a three quarter inch female input here and a three quarter inch male output here. It has a conical extension from the body and the flow runs this way through the body shown by the arrow on the body, just there. If we undo the conical extension, will expose a floating valve within the body and a white spring inside the conical extension. Now the amount of compression on this spring is adjusted by this turnbuckle assembly inside. Now this stem can be rotated to give more pressure or less pressure according to the compression on that spring. So we'll adjust this halfway because that represents around about 1.5 bar and that's an ideal pressure for a leaky pipe to work at. When we put the stem back inside the extension, make sure that it's actually traveled down properly and there's the adjuster at the end which you can use a flat screwdriver on. Rotate clockwise with a screwdriver to increase the downstream pressure or anti-clockwise to decrease the downstream pressure. So if we offer up the two parts to reassemble them, Put the spring in properly, hold it, give it a twist up and it seals on a rubber washer inside. So what we have is the upstream, the cone, the adjuster and then we have the downstream and this male thread can accept a hose snap fitting like this, the plastic hose snap fitting which you can snap your hose pipe on and off with or we can take away the plastic hose snap fitting and fit a brass hose snap fitting with a very lovely hose snap fitting and a hose pipe. Or alternatively again we can remove the brass and offer up our compression adapter if we're going to use polytubes to be connected directly to the pressure regulator. So here we've got the two male and female three quarter inch threads that we can use PTFE tape on to seal but in this instance, I'm going to use a little blue sealing washer in the body of the fitting and use that as a way of compressing and creating a seal between the two. Now, we know how the compression fitting works. We put the blue locking ring on and the split collar, allow a little bit of tube sticking out, push it up to the internal O-ring, wiggle and push past the O-ring, do up the locking ring, and that's a firm and leak-free seal. This pressure regulator is not a step down device, it's not a flow regulator. It senses the pressure immediately downstream of its position. The major benefit of this type of device is it has the ability to float depending on demand. So if you increase or decrease the downstream demand, it will open or close accordingly. Likewise, if your water supply increases and decreases its pressure, it will automatically throttle the flow.